Hey, this is Andreas from Pocketables.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you a modification I made to my iPad Mini back case. So this should also work with practically any back case for uh, any device, be it a cell phone or uh, tablet or anything. Um, kind of depends on your case, but it's definitely not something that would work only on the iPad Mini. So this is the $2 uh, back case I'm using for my iPad mini. Uh, I've talked about it a lot before. Uh, it's bought from eBay and it's just one of the most amazing values for the price that I've ever seen. Uh, I love this case and as you can see I've already made modifications to it that I've talked about before. Uh, basically just embedding some magnets uh, that would um, basically just grab hold of the smart cover and fold it around the back to keep it in place. Uh, the new mod however is this little cut, this slit here on the side that I just made today. And the reason why I made that in there is to be able to make uh, uh, basically accessory attachments for the case. So I have the first one right here. Um, I made a few prototype iterations before I made this one that seem to work the best. Uh, this basically just consists of this uh, this flexible band that I uh, just took a needle and thread and sewed into a sort of loop that has a di diameter that's slightly uh, smaller than the thickness of this vacuum bamboo stylus but it's flexible so that doesn't matter. Uh, and then I cut this piece of plastic out of a document holder uh, after trying a few different uh, thicknesses of plastic ranging from something I found on a one of those um, bundles of uh, burnable DVDs and uh, cardboard and everything. I found this to work the best. Then I basically just took some hot glue and glued the two together in order to make this. And the way this works is that you just take this piece <coughs> sorry uh, and you slide it into place and of course I did it upside down but uh, so just slide it in like that um, it's very important to try different uh, plastic thicknesses in order to find something that's rigid but can actually be inserted without uh, making a bulk uh, bulge or anything like that also you shouldn't use metal because that would uh, scratch the back of your uh, iPad or whatever device you're using. But once this is inserted all the way, it essentially just works as a stylus holder for the iPad. So if I just um, try drawing something in uh, penultimate right here, and then I can just slide it right back in there, and it will stay in place. And I made this because I always carry my iPad around during the day. Um, and I always tr try to either just attach it to the side, but then I have the metal piece uh, going against the screen, which I don't like in case there's some sort of um, force being applied to it. Uh, or just uh, putting it loosely on top, which isn't ideal either. So this allows me to just carry it around and then when I get home and don't need it anymore, it's two seconds to remove it. And then uh, this slit is uh, it doesn't actually affect how you would use it even if you hold it like that which I don't do anyways you wouldn't actually feel this piece on the side so um, it's a really simple modification uh, at least if you have the right tools um, but uh, it's also really effective so yeah that's it so thank you for watching